Guess who's going back to school today? Kind of, but not really. Um, I did graduate last spring. Um, I was able to do like an early walk-on, but I do need to complete two more classes before I can actually obtain my degree. Um, I was able to walk on because I had enough units, but I just need two classes. I only need, what is it? Five, four, nine more units before I can receive my diploma. So that kind of sucks that I only need nine, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. So um, I'm actually kind of nervous because I'm not taking it um, at Fresno State where I graduated. I'm gonna go take it at San Bernardino because it is closer to home. And because I didn't want to go to Fresno just for like two classes. So I'm gonna go to San Bernardino. I've never been on campus and of all the days for it to be raining and windy, which is why I got the bun going on, so I actually gotta leave. I don't know where to park. I don't know what to do. I don't even know how I'm doing this. I don't even know where my class is. I'm hoping I even get into the class. They have something called, which I didn't know about because in Fresno we don't have this. It's called open university or like open enrollment or something. So you basically just like kind of show up to the class, let the teacher know why you're taking it um, and whatnot, and hopefully they sign your like form and like she joined the class, so I was like, Ugh, okay, hopefully that works, because I've never heard of that. Fingers crossed, we'll see. I gotta go, because it's raining. I'm actually leaving the house two hours early, because I'm so nervous that I won't find parking, or I don't know where I'll, like where the building is or anything. Let's see. Okay, I gotta get going. So I'm about to leave the house, but I thought it was hella funny that I'm about to be popping up to San Bernardino with my Fresno State sticker. I know, my car is really dirty, but I'm like... I was just thinking, they're probably gonna be like, what the hell? All confused, but it's okay, it's okay. So I am currently just chilling in my car. I did make it here, thankfully it's safe. I don't know, as you can see, I also changed. I have like 50 minutes before I go in and I don't wanna go in. It was raining kind of hard, but it wasn't too bad bad but i have like zero sense of direction and as soon as i exited the freeway i was like i'm gonna get so lost i don't know why i am but the campus is actually i don't know if it's i don't think it's small but it was kind of easy to navigate and parking wasn't bad at all i don't know if it's the time or because it's raining i don't know but literally the first day at fresno state it's so packed and even like not on the first day but like it's like extremely packed on the first day but it's always so crowded it's so hard to find parking i don't know if i want to roam around because i've never been on this campus and i don't know i don't know it's kind of weird i feel weird okay it is raining so hard right now but quick update my class is really good my teacher she's actually really nice she seems nice right now i've only had one class with her but she was really nice, signed my form, and then um, for my, because it's open enrollment or whatever it's called, um, she signed my form and I had to get another signature from like the department chair. And so I went there. First of all, I got freaking lost. It's raining, it's windy. I'm lost, I don't know where I am. Of all the days, it couldn't be hot, it could have been windy, that's fine, I can tolerate the wind. It's raining, my map's wet, so I try to use my phone, my phone's getting wet, and so I, <laughs> I look so lost, I don't have an umbrella, I didn't know, like, on the buildings it has the name of, like, what the building's called, but you gotta find where it's at, and so I'm going in circles, and of course, the building I had to go to was, because they're doing construction, which is probably why I also got lost, but the building I was supposed to go to was hidden, like, the sign, because of the construction, and I, like, and it's literally, it's right here. It's probably the closest building to me. But I went all the way in the opposite direction, went all the way back, passed it, went back around, and figured that was it. So, and then I get there, and the office is closed till 2.45, and I got there at like 2. So I was like, I'm just going to chill here. I just need one signature, then I got to drop it off, and then I got to make my payment, and I'm done, and I'm good. So I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and they opened the door. And he was not there. The person assigned it was not there. He was in a meeting. Hmm. So he told me I could leave it and, and I could pick it up whenever. So next time I come to class, right before class, I'll just pick it up and do all that. So I'm so hungry. I don't know what I'm going to eat. It's raining. I kind of wanted pasta, but I don't want to make something. Or I might get Taco Bell because it's easy. drive through is just so easy. We'll see. 
so I just finished eating and I was like oh yeah I can lay down relax I love the rain I really do love the rain I love like not when I have to go out and do things but if I'm home I get to just lay in bed like I I do I love the rain how is it that on my way to campus when I get to campus and I'm walking to class when I'm lost looking for these damn buildings trying to turn in my forms and whatnot still raining and then on my way back to the car on my way back home and all of that it's not even drizzling it's not sprinkling it's like really pouring rain now that I'm home and I get to chill and enjoy the rain it stopped there's no rain there's no sound of rain and it's actually not even as gloomy as it was earlier so despite it pouring rain when I was lost on campus and then you know when I was ready for the rain it decided to stop raining um it is still a good day why why is it still a good day because Two packages came in, one being my Ipsy, which I get monthly anyways, but I still love getting it because it's like Christmas every month. But what I'm really, really excited for is this. It is my vegan handbag, my luxury vegan handbag. That is important. My first big girl purchase I have gotten for myself in a really long time and the first luxury handbag I have gotten for myself. I don't think I've talked about it yet, but... um. Maybe I have. I don't think I have. But I do want to start switching out all my products, whether it's um, beauty items, like clothing, shoes, and all that stuff. I do want to start switching them out into all vegan products. And so um, I wonder if I can pull it up. Let me pull it up really. So I already started switching out some of my products. Um, my new planner, it is faux leather. It's just, I don't even know what it is, but it is vegan. Um, and then I also have... This wallet I got from Etsy, but this one is also vegan leather as well. So this one is 100% vegan, cruelty-free, matches the color of these, which is my favorite color if you couldn't tell. So I'm really, really excited for this. I've been waiting for it for so long. Um, maybe not like that long. Maybe it's long to me because I've been really excited about this. It is on all on it. It says no animals harmed. And then I believe the brand is... Gunas, G-U-N-A-S, New York Gunas, I believe is how it's pronounced. I want to open it really badly, but I wanted to an unboxing, so I can't even open it yet, but I'm really excited it came in. It's still a good day. So this year was supposed to be like my year. Me and my best decided, you know, this is the year like we start getting our lives together. We're going to get this thing going. This is our freaking year. Well, 2018 decided to smack me in the face and say, psych. So I've been, um emailing all day like sending emails back and forth so for fresno state the course i needed to take was advanced nutrition but at, and at san bernardino the course i was going to take is called advanced nutrition well that professor at san bernardino was like you should probably email your teacher make sure like or your um advisor and make sure like it's okay like it'll count towards your units for the class you do need so i emailed my other professor and she was like let me see the course syllabus and prior to that i already talked to her and it already seemed like everything was okay, like it should cross over its advanced nutrition, advanced nutrition. My advisor decides that it's probably better I take a different course. And I was like, you know what, that kind of sucks, but it's okay. I'll just take it, whatever, like it's fine. I've only missed like one or two classes. So I go on to see and it's taught by that same professor, so that's kind of nice, but I want to see when, like what time I would need to attend class. And while I'm searching, I couldn't find the course. And I was like, that's kind of weird. But I kind of started panicking. And so it turns out they only offer that course in the fall. So I guess I'm not going back to school, at least not yet. I still need to take physio, but I was like, that kind of sucks. But you know, you have to do what you got to do. So I'm just going to take it in the fall. I am a very strong believer that everything happens for a reason and I don't know what this reason is because I only need two classes to attain my degree but it's fine. I even talked to my mom and she's super supportive and she's like what can you do just take it in the fall just try to get it done just do good so she's really supportive and understanding but I was like that just sucks I was so looking forward to it I already got lost I went through all that trouble yesterday in the rain but again what can you do it's okay. I'm still trying to make this a positive thing and 
I got boba. I'm about to make a whole batch of vegan cookies and eat them all to myself because I deserve that. It's okay. It'll all work out in the end. Does it suck? Yes. But it all falls into place and you just you gotta do what you gotta do. So that was my day.